Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games that today we're going to be playing Super Mario 64. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and got our first star in bob -omb Battlefield. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and have a foot race with Koopa the Quick. So yeah, we have our first, uh, well not our first, our second star. And we have this guy over here. Thank you, Mario. The big bob is nothing but a big dud now. But the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the other power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My bob buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll set up cannons for you. Speaking of bob buddies that'll set up cannons for us. We're peace-loving bob so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all of the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. Could have said bomb voyage, but... Anyways, now that we just unlocked the cannon, the obvious thing that's going to happen in the game is that we are banned from using it because our next level is this race here and we can't use the cannon. We can use teleportation though, so... Hey Mario. Is it true that you beat the big bob -omb? Cool! You must be strong, and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Just fast enough to beat me, Koop the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountain top, where the big bob -omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go. So, you remember Silly Kicks from the previous episode? Use that to go up this slope right here. And do you remember that weird hole in the wall, or hole in the mountain, I should say, that we mentioned in the previous episode, or I mentioned in the previous episode, I don't know why I say we. Anyways, you just want to stand inside of it, and it immediately teleports you to the top and you can beat the race in under 30 seconds. Something I like to do while waiting for him is to go down the mountain and like, kinda I guess taunt him while he's going up. Oh, here he is. Whoop. And... <sighs> Whoa, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go, you've won it fair and square. And we get... Our second power star. Shoot to the island in the sky is our next mission. And now we can finally use the cannon. So yeah, it's inverted controls, so, or at least with vertical it is, so if you press down it goes up, if you press up it goes down, I think they changed that in uh, the 3D All-Stars port, and then if you move left and right, left goes left, right goes right, also it's a bit underpowered, so I'll shoot like right here. And, I don't know if that was the best way to, to, to show that off because you couldn't really see anything. Let's go like, if we shoot up here, we don't go very far and instead just land on the island. And that's our third star. I didn't really have anything interesting to say during that. With three stars, we then open up a new area in the castle, or multiple new areas in the castle. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are meaner, so be careful. So now we've unlocked the entire first floor, and a tiny bit of the second floor as well. Find the eight red coins. 
So these missions are pretty simple. You just do as it says, find the eight red coins. And once you know where the locations are, on replays, the red coin missions aren't really that tough. Like, there are some in, like, the later courses, but of course those are gonna be tough because they're the later courses. The way that I, like, choose how to shoot up to the island is the clouds kind of look like a seagull, I guess, and so I just aim, like, slightly above it. Also, something interesting is that you can dive if you get a bunch of momentum. You can dive, and then you press A to get back up, and during this animation while you're getting back up, that little thing where right after the dive he does the little front flip to get back up to his feet, you cannot take fall damage while you're doing that. So you can dive off the cliff, get up, and you won't take any damage on the way down. Normally, that would take out like half your health. Here's a neat little fact. In the original N64 version, uh, or the Japanese N64 version, uh, all of the red coins make the same noise. Like, in all of the other versions, when you collect red coins, like, the first one will have a lower pitch than a, than the sixth one, like the collecting noise. But in the Japanese version of the Nintendo 64 version, that was a bit redundant, but it's all just the same noise. But anyways, that's the fourth star. So, interestingly, we can't collect the 5th star in bob on Battlefield as of now. We can go ahead and do that later. Or we physically are incapable of doing it until later. So for now, we're just gonna head to World 2. You only need one star to go through here, but I want to collect as many stars as possible through a world before moving on to the next one. Anyway, chip off Womp's block. Hello, the Lakitu Bro is cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this. He has, a, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. In wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around using the C buttons to view uh, the C buttons and press uh, using C, C right and C left. Press C down to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any farther, the buzzer will sound. This is Lackadoo Bros signing off. So yeah. I'm sleeping because I'm sleepy. I don't like being disturbed. Please walk quietly. Whoop. <laughs> try that again. I, I can never do this well. For some reason, my hands, like, twitch a lot. Like, sometimes I'll be doing something, like, very gently, and my hands will just randomly twitch for no reason and ruin it. I don't know why my body does that. It's weird. Another weird thing about my body, and why... I kind of took a while off because originally I was just going to take like a week off but I ended up taking about three weeks off and that's mostly because uh, for just like a, an entire week my body was hurting and for no reason like for four days straight my ear was in a ton of pain and then it stopped hurting and then my right leg started hurting, and I was like, crud, now my right leg is hurting. Well, whenever I need to walk around, I'll just not put any weight on that leg. And then my left ankle started hurting at the same time, and I'm like, okay, I guess I can't walk without being in agony. And then after those calmed down, I forget, something else started hurting. I don't know. Moral of the story, my body is weird, and gets me into a lot of painful situations. Anyways, King Womp. 
It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Try to pound me. Try to pound me, wimp. Ha! This is King Womp. What you want to do is have him try to jump on you, run around, and then ground pound him. Uh, interesting thing though that speedrunners do is you can just, while he's about to jump on you, if you just ground pound, when he's about to crush you, you'll just pass through him and, and hit him. No, crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel, or grovel, but um, tss. Here, you win. Take this with you. With five stars to our name and two tyrants taken down, that's some good alliteration. I'm going to end this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what else we can do around the castle. We already have everything in the first floor unlocked. Some stuff in the second floor unlocked. And possibly even the basement unlocked in a future episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!